All right, a rapper who has gained some global fame and continues to give back to the community and launched new business ventures is about to reach another audience. Right now we're joined by, well, you know what? Honestly, he doesn't really need an introduction, all right? We got Juvenile in the building, guys. Hey, what's up? This man? is amazing. Okay, and first of all, thank you so much for talking to us. Really hey, appreciate man, it. Hey, man, thank you for having me. Oh, man. Uh, when, I, when I was on Twitter and Juvenile added me to say, hey, I want Daryl Forges <laughs> to get me on, you That's got right. to listen to what the man says. So thank you for coming. Hey, man. So oh, we got to tell you, you're, you're booked and busy. You have a lot going on. So yeah. I want to first talk about Bayou Boogaloo. You'll be performing there. So yeah. why should people come out? Well, you know, Bayou Boogaloo uh, in, in particular, by being something that's, that's kind of like homegrown in New Orleans, uh, we bring out the live band. You know, live band, people love to see. When they come to New Orleans, they want to see live bands. And me performing with a live band is something different, and I think it's just great to see. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and talk about that. I mean, going from, and there's other uh, performances we're going to talk about later, but the trend is you're, you're doing this with live bands. Yeah. So how, did, how does that make you feel doing that? Shout out to my man Trombone Shorty for actually hooking me up with the live band. Like, you know, he actually real instrumental in putting my band together and actually giving me a couple of his players to help me out. And man, just standing on stage and performing with a live band is, is so much different than, than uh, you performing over your music because you actually get a chance to let the people hear your voice and sing the songs along with you. It's just great. Absolutely. And people do want to hear your voice. That's yeah. why you're also going to be doing NPR's Tiny Desk. So yeah. <laughs> it was an explosion on social media to support yeah. to get you what you said on social media saying, what is a Tiny Desk? Yeah. So how did the whole thing kind of come about for you? And shout out to my man, Travis Lauderdean. He, he, he kind of... He kind of made this whole thing happen. Um, he, he, you know, he, he kind of runs my social media. And um, he told me that, man, maybe this is, this is a good opportunity for, to get you on Tiny Desk, because I really didn't know anything about Tiny Desk. He did. And um, by him making that comment, people just started coming at me on social media, coming at me strong. And um, I, just, I just thought it was a great opportunity for me to be on, so, on, on Tiny Desk and perform and let the people actually see me with a live band finally on a national stage. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, so do we know when the Tiny Desk is going to come out? I think it's June 9th or 10th. What's the date? June. Oh, 14th. June 14th. June 14th. I'm horrible with dates. No, it's all good. <laughs> no, you booked it busy. So it's fine that That's you're right. with the dates. Okay, but I got to talk about another performance. This is big, y'all. This was just announced yesterday. You're going to be going on tour with yeah. LL Cool J, The Roots, and so many other folks. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about that. Again, another live band experience. LL Cool J is one of my role models, somebody that I look up to, and also the Roots too. Like one of the best bands I think in America for as you know performing live. I mean, the guys was playing on stage with Jay Z a few times, so you know, real real big, and they're always on TV. So I felt like you know me being involved with this tour and just real great that they reached out to me and. and you know, ask me to be on this tour. I just think it's a great look for me and a lot of other artists that comes after me. Absolutely, and that's gonna be coming to New Orleans uh, later on in the summer. Be on yeah. the lookout for that. We'll have more about that on our, on our website, WDSU.com. And finally, I gotta get to the, to the good stuff, okay, <laughs> that we got right in front of us. For decades, yeah. you've been telling us to back that thing up, but now you're backing that seltzer up. That's right, that's because right. Because <laughs> you got your own seltzer called Juvie Juice. Yeah. And some folks, and you see it right there, the, the can, I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't wanna drink it because the can itself looks amazing. Talk to us about how this whole thing came about. Again, my man Travis, he got, he got, he got a friend that's at Urban South, that uh, the owners, somebody that he grew up with. And again, he came to me and said, hey Juve, I think it's a good idea if we, you know, we go over here and try these seltzers out and see if you could, you would like it. Cause I'm a guy that really didn't drink seltzers at all. And you know, kind of like, it was an, a great experience, me and my wife sitting there going through these things. And they asked me what I actually liked to drink. And it was uh, tea. It was the, you know, the Arnold Palmer. So we took Arnold Palmer and came up with this great drink and people love it. And the design of this can, I mean, yeah. who designed this? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I wanted to say his stage name, but my guy, Nick, he, he did a great, uh, a, a great job on this art. It took him a little minute to get it together, but he had, he had like three different ideas, but this was the best one. It's beautiful. I mean, it low-key looks like a collector's item. Yeah, that's what it, it kind of looks like. So, I mean, with all the stuff that's happening right now with you, I mean, you've got on tour, you've got the Juvie Juice out. Um, how does it feel just being booked and busy like this? Man, it's great. 25 years later, not just that, this is the 25th year of 400 Degrees. So we're re-releasing 400 Degrees in November 
of, of this year. So it's kind of like my big year that I've kind of planned out for to, to be out, out and about in public and out, out and about and let everybody see me uh, for this 25th year. But it's, it's going great, man. This year is probably like one of my best years of my career. Hey, we love to see it. We love to see you here at WDSU. Hey, thank you all for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, Juvenile in the building. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. It's all love, man. All right.